Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holla Drak and we are playing XCOM 2 on Legend Difficulty. Welcome to Operation Hell Shield. we're going to raid an advent train with uh, this group I think. Although, it might be better to have a grenadier. Oh, uh, no. I like Thane, I'm going to keep him here, but we're going to edit um, Silverboo's weapon. Because we got a scope at the end of the last episode, so I'm going to name this weapon Hairy. Because of the hair trigger. And then we'll give you a stock sniper rifle. And put the scope on it. It's only 5% increased aim, but still something. Might make the might make all the difference. Yes, like this. Um, I mean, another Grenadier. Instead of a Specialist, we don't desperately need a Specialist. He could heal, but... Might this be a better configuration? Do we need a Specialist here? I think it might be better to go for raw firepower. I'm going to give you a acid grenade as well. Yeah, I think that's the squad we're going to roll with. So I think we're going to go. Let's move out. Deployment. Let's get in there. Local resistance operatives have managed to shut down an advent train that was passing through this area. As of yet, the aliens haven't managed to secure the location, so we're moving in to take advantage. Neutralize any hostile contacts in the AO. Secure the site and lock down whatever cargo you can find. We really need the magnetic weapons ASAP. I don't think we're doing enough damage. Uh, we're only one day away Minus from one getting that. Coordinates of the advent train are locked in. Move to secure. Eliminate all hostiles. Okay, so there's the train. There's some lower terrain. The map continues over there, but ends over here. I think this might be a good sniper spot. I'm thinking. How would you go up there? Okay. Let's see what our warmonger can see. Move you here. Hostiles making the rounds. Okay, a mech and two stun lancers, I think. No, a mech, a stun lancer, and a regular trooper. Okay. Put server boo up there. The height um, will certainly make for better shooting. Could shoot one of those guys already. I think we'll put Jesse over here. Put him in overwatch. Thane. Well. We won't be able to see anyone from there. give a lot for a spider suit where I could just grapple up there. That would be nice. 
Doesn't look like I'm going to get that though. Double time. So let's move over here. That's affirmative. What you're called Nova now? No, I have to I have to change your name. Sorry, Jacked. Going to change the name into Jacked eighty one after we're done here. Affirmative covering now. That has to happen. So they're moving away. That's fine, I think. Confirmed. So they're over there. Can't get over there, and I can't see anyone. But I'm thinking we might want to move our snipers up a bit, maybe to here. Got it. Put Sabuku in, in long watch. Jesse up here and Jack up Rolling. here. Scanning. Ooh, there! Oh no, there's a muton and two stun lancers. I don't like that one bit. Ooh, that is creepy. That is creepy as hell. They don't seem to have spotted us yet. Oh, we have the other group in sight though as well. I don't like that. Can't really do anything with you, Thane. Well, I could flashbang that group. What help would that be? I think it's way better to actually lob a grenade in there. If I were to throw an acid grenade on them, that would certainly hurt them. Yeah, I think that's how it's going to be. Anti scam, you're not going to be in Overwatch. Put you in long watch. Um, put you in long watch. You're not going to do anything. You'll be in long watch. Um, in overwatch, I mean. And then we'll lob an acid grenade in there. Let's see how it goes. So they have some nice acid burns now. The Muton has no armor anymore. They've got a position. That's nice. It's been revealed. Yes, give it to him. Go on. Ooh, five damage and he's poisoned. Nice. That's not so nice. Biggest problem are the stun lancers, and I have put this group as well. Holy cow, that's not good. Well, I've got some options, and I think I have to take them. I think we're going to try and. Um, okay, we can. We can. Hit all of them with the flashbang, I think. Okay, so now all of them are disoriented. 
yeah, we're compromised. That's fine. I think. Oh, you're still, you're still burning. You're disoriented. He's acid burning. Should also be poisoned. So why doesn't he die? Yeah, okay, he's poisoned, but he didn't die from it. That's a shame, actually. They are still disoriented. So only the mech. The mech is our biggest problem, I guess. Yeah, that didn't work. Incoming fire! Okay, so he's just overwatching. This, fire over here. this guy missed. The mech might not miss, and that's not good. No, that's not good. That's not good. Holy cow. Yeah, but at least you didn't die. We are really lucky. Now. <laughs> what a situation. Oh, we got options. We got options. Could try to take out that stun lancer with the lightning hands. That might make sense. Good. So he's gone. Goodbye. You see that? Yeah, I saw that. Got lightning hands with you as well. I would like to take out the Muton. He's an annoying little bugger. I think he might just die from the poison and acid. Without me having to do anything. I think it might be better to kill the, the stun lancer. Good. He's down. down. Didn't take any real action now. The mech is definitely a problem. What can we see from here? Nothing. Can see a lot from here though. So we'll bring you we'll bring you up. This guy we don't need. I don't think I need to worry about him. That's the other stun lancer. Now Jesse. What can you see from over there? All of them. Nearly all of them. We'll bring you we'll bring you into cover. I think we might just throw a grenade in there. On the other hand. Could shred some armor of that mech. The Muton is going to die, I just have to believe that. The Stun Lancer though is the problem. We can deal with the mech in some way. any sort of full cover that I could get where I can hurt any one of them. Doesn't look like it. Stun Lancer is definitely the biggest problem. I mean, I think I, if I can hit the Stun Lancer, 
He's going to be poisoned and he's pretty much gone. Let's see if it works. He's not going to be gone. Shit. Well, yeah, he is. Okay. So he's going to die. That's for certain. So we might as well. We have 34% chance on this guy. That's not too bad. 32% chance. I think we might just try to hit the mech. Maybe shred some armor. Nice. Okay, the armor is shredded. That armor's tough. Yeah, it is. This trooper, though, he has the chance to flank us. I well, I don't think he will run into the poison. That's not really a position for him there. I can't I can't reach the mech anyway, with Jesse at least not. Thirty four percent chance. I think we'll just overwatch with you. I think we might even just overwatch with Thane. Come get some. And our warmonger. We still got our warmonger. Could actually close the deal here. We got a 50% chance on that guy too, but if we can take down the mech, that would be perfect. We just managed to not do it. What a shame. Yeah. We need better weapons. Muton is gone. Stun Lancer is gone. Trooper is no longer disoriented though, that's not good. And we missed the mech. That's also not good. What are you going to do? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Ooh, the roof came down. And yeah, maybe because of the acid. Oh. We aren't in a hurry. We can just take down that advent trooper. I want to feed kills to Silverboot to get him to captain. Nice. Okay, we got death from above, which actually lets us reload. I like that. Ready to engage. We need a bigger magazine. Where's that horrible mech, though? Let's move already. I don't see it. I have little I have little choice other than to overwatch, which is a bit stupid. I don't wanna take you out of your cover. Hmm. Tired of waiting around. I'll put you down here. And into Gotta Overwatch. Now, Jesse has the chance to kill the mech, I think. I wonder where that guy is. Off the Over That's there. Yeah, yeah, I know. 82%, that's not a bad chance. Let's take it. Good, good. And we got a loot drop. Interesting. I like it. Let us get over here to secure that thing. 
stepping off. I think considering that went pretty well. Another hair trigger. Yeah, okay. It's not bad. I've got it. Okay. Now we can't reconceal with anti scamp. Uh, we don't have our sniper up here. I think that might be a good idea to bring you up there. Let's do this. Um, a pistol Fire watch on. might be fine. We keep you for a long shot, maybe that we have to take. Finally. Just take it very the slowly. Okay, so we have those those guys. Maybe I should have. Put a round of reloading in there. Okay, pistol overwatch is triggering. Nice one. Those are pretty hard to hit, those snakes. Another stunny. And an elephant trooper. Really don't like those stun lancer guys. Got a good chance to take out the Advent Trooper. Even better chance to hurt the Viper. I'm actually not sure what to do. The Stun Lancer is going to come running. I have a 20% crit chance on this guy as well. Because of the laser sight and the weapon crit. Well, he's got low cover. Um, well, let's see what Jesse can do. Not much, really. Could you throw a grenade over here? You could do something like that, which would... Um, are there boxes that we want in there? Doesn't look like it. If I take away the cover from the snake, we should be able to take out the snake. So that's gone. Got a 100% shot chance on the snake guy. You don't have any shots from there. If I put you over here, you have a shot chance at the trooper. Interesting. I'm going. Fifty-one percent. That's not too shabby. On the other hand, uh, well, actually, I think we take the shot instead of using another grenade. Yes, nice one. You're really you know, that was good. holding your own. Oh, yeah, Lord. I know that was good. We have a good chance to take out that wiper. You can only see the wiper though, so I think we'll do it with you. Goodbye. Target disabled. 
But I don't like our chances with the... Um, with the Stun Lancer. I really don't like it. We can overwatch with you. If you can hit the Stun Lancer. Well, if we maneuver, we won't be able to do it. Well, I, I mean, I could move him out of harm's way. I doubt that he is be he will be able to reach any of us, really. I guess I have to take the shot. Nope, that's not good. I hope anti scamp doesn't go down. <laughs> Holy f oh. Indeed, that was really close. <laughs> and we didn't get the pistol shot. That's a shame. Come on, focus. You got a one hundred percent chance to hit that stun lancer. And a 50% crit chance. I think we'll do that. You haven't got your lightning hands back. You certainly have to reload with Jesse. Could throw a grenade over there if we really needed it. I think I could place it so that, yeah, that it only hurts the stun lancer. I'm going to do that if it doesn't work. Yeah, Silverboo. Show your metal. Make me proud. Nope. That was not all of it. Although he's poisoned, so he's going to die anyway. Fine. Then let's reload. Back online. I mean, this is this is pretty hardcore. Doing nothing and just just reloading. Um. Put you in long watch. Put you in Overwatch. Put you over here. And I think we'll reload with you. Oh, yeah. Seems doable. Goodbye. <laughs> Hooray for poison rounds! Nice one. Yeah, we had two soldiers wounded. That was pretty bad. But I'm very happy that we managed to do it like that. <laughs> I wonder if Silverboo leveled up. I don't think so, which is a shame. But, oh well. I couldn't possibly feed him more kills than I did. Problem is that Anti Scamp and Jesse are going to be out again. That's bad. At least we got our advanced warfare center now, so they will heal a bit faster. They are only wounded, they are not gravely wounded. So that's good, I think. Um, yeah, none of them leveled up. Got a hair trigger. Stun Lancer Corpse. 84 alien alloys. That's very nice. Some Illyrium crystals, Illyrium cores, 145 supplies. Perfect. This stuff will allow us to make great strides with the building of magnetic weapons, I think. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, we can reduce the contact costs. We'll, we'll do that later. For now, we're going to try and get the the additional scientists from there. That's what I want. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Nice. She looks pleased as well. Okay, so we can now do the... Um, research the Gauss weapons. Um, we can already build mag pistols, shotguns and magnetic rifles. This is for the rangers. And this is for all our troops, rookies and all that. Oh, we can instantly complete the stun lancer autopsy. That's good. Let's do that. The advent stun lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Although Advent clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city centers, it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. Okay. Yeah, they certainly don't take any prisoners. Could upgrade our ranger's swords. We haven't been doing a lot of sword um, fighting. Let's put on a new research project. Yeah, I would like to get a Mimic Beacon, which is going to be in five days, um, if we complete the Faces Autopsy. This will improve our Gremlins, and this will give us better grenades. Ten days, that's still a bit long. But the Gauss weapons, it would make a pretty big difference because it would increase our snipers. And also our um, big guns for the grenadiers. Well, the mimic beacon could save our asses. But I think we'll go with the ghost weapons for now. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Um, let's build some of the weapons that we got now. So we have 491 supplies. That's um, quite a lot. Let's build the pistol. 200 supplies, 30 alien alloys. Magnetic rifle is good. Let's put the shotgun as well. The arc blade I don't need at the moment, so we'll leave that off. Battle scanner might be useful. Um, it's especially useful if you're freeing VIPs and stuff like that. Having never stepped foot in one of the city centers, I've never actually had one of these advent burgers I keep hearing rumors about. No one really seems to be asking the hard questions either. Like, when was the last time you even saw a cow? Yeah, that sounds very soil and greeny to me. Let's have a look at how long our people will be out. Anti scamp 13 days. Jesse 10 days. Spotnik 6 days. What well, still? Don't we have someone stationed in the Advanced Warfare Center? Yeah, we do. It's still going to be a long time. That's not good. Now uh, just one, one shot. You've done a hell of a job keeping this ship together, Doctor. It's all we've got. And I know the aliens aren't happy about losing one of their own. I doubt they thought anyone could get this heap airborne again. I'm more than happy to prove them wrong. Yeah, I wouldn't mind another engineer. That would be nice, I think. Well, let's see if we can't get the scientists. Good. 
Jenna Bain, Total Biscuit's wife. Funny. By 70%, very nice. Ooh, we could get a facility lead. So that would um, allow us to um, attack any of these alien facilities without having to without having to make contact with the region first. The reduced contact cost would also be nice though. Tell you what, I, I go here, just do it for a bit to maybe let it stay. Avenger plotting new course. But the facility lead is more important for us. That's that's a certainty. Um, Gauss weapons, eleven days. Let's have a look at the Research faceless. Is proceeding as planned, Commander. Still five days. Okay Working then. Within the tight con Avenger, I've had a difficult time finding room to conduct some of our more theoretical experiments. Perhaps the next time we set down. Okay. Okay, so we get the skull jack. Uh, we can hack one of the um, advent officers or advent troopers by ramming that thing into their head. That's pretty gnarly. Okay. We don't want to use that yet. Okay, so we have Tim Cool now as our uh, new ranger. Let's have a look. He already has the new shotguns. I don't really want to use my supplies to get anyone else in there. Let's have a look at our roster. So we do have four grenadiers, four rangers, three sharpshooters, three specialists. I think we're pretty well balanced at the moment. I don't think we need that many more guys. We could try to get another grenadier. Who else do we have to recruit? Uh, we have Jake Berenger as a subscriber. Good me. And then that's pretty much it. Could do it. Well, let's hold off on that for now. Um, what I wanted to do for a while, though, uh, we're going to do that right away. I wanted to customize you and give you a nice nickname. You're going to be Jacked81. Who wanted to be in here? Welcome. I hope you don't die. I'm going to get a supply drop soon. That's nice. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Leading okay. the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. Well, you're welcome. You have to do better. You're welcome to try it yourself, my friend. Okay, we're going to have a retaliation strike, like, right now. Adding armor to the soldiers, that's bad. The Viper poison, okay. I'm not going to spend the intel to reveal this thing. Yeah, there's our supply drop. I'm going to ignore it for now. Oh, that's not good. 
Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're having a retaliation strike in New India. Man, they are always striking New India. Setting course for India. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. No, no, no. Stop nagging me. Um. Well, that's actually not a bad composition because those two guys have uh, the strongest weapons now. We won't have a ranger though, I don't like that. My discamp is still out. Okay, let's take Jacked. I think there's not a lot of ranging to be done here anyway. These guys at least have their pistols, which do more damage. Although, now let's take... Should I take Karen Anderson? I might also take Tim Kula or Bone Dragon. It's moderate difficulty. It shouldn't be too difficult to do it. We still have our Acid Grenade. I think we want a Frag Grenade instead. Although, this is a nice way of removing a lot of armor. And I'm thinking we might put a. F what is the skulljack going to do? Not a lot for you, so you're going to get a flashbang. I think we might put another flashbang on you. Oh, don't we have that? Don't we have a second flashbang? Then let's make utility items available. Like this. So I think this is going to be the group that we go out with. Two specialists that already have the magnetic weapons. Servibu, who needs to rank up to captain so we can take a sixth uh, soldier with us. And our squaddy ranger Tim Cool, who's going to prove his metal, I think. Um, but yeah, I have to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. If you want to be here as a soldier also, drop me a comment. I'll put you in here. And I hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.